your early childhood really uh, sets the tone for a lot of things. So, mm-hmm. um, and then when I was eight is when my parents split up and okay. we immediately went from that kind of lifestyle to myself, my mother, my brother, my two sisters living in one of her friends base in a room in her friend's basement, uh, growing up on welfare, right. moving from house to house, just getting ripped out of every everything I thought was reality was gone. Right. And my entire perception of life got flipped upside down, Yeah, you know, and I came to realize very, very early on that nothing is secure. You're not safe. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, that all got pointed in that really negative direction where what's the point of doing anything? What's the point of trying? Because if you try, you're just going to fail. Um, someone's going to take it away from you. Things are going to get destroyed. People are going to die. You're going to get sick. All of, all those uh, negative aspects of that. And I just accepted that was the way that life is and will right. continue to be and that there's nothing you can do about it. Basically, that your story is set and you don't have no say. Right. You know, I really fell into that victim mentality of thinking there's nothing I can do about it. Because this okay. is just the way that it is. So why, why even bother? Yeah, you know, and uh, which you know, so many, so many of us do. Whether whether the thing, whether the circumstances are real or imagined, we feel like we have no control. Yes, you know, and there certainly are most things we don't have control over. But there's a lot of things we do have control over, and, and at the very least, we have control over uh, how we view these things, our right. perspective of these things, and. Um, unfortunately I didn't learn that lesson until I decided to turn my life around at 23. So 